All right, next game, we got the uh, Titans and the Bills. Um, but we don't know if that game will be played. Um, so I'm not seeing even a line on this game right now, a point spread or anything. Um, so uh, if the game would be played, the Titans are better than people think. Uh, they are 3-0. and They're in the top 10 in the power rankings. I mean, the Titans are a good team. Derrick Henry's a beast. You know, Ryan Tannehill can throw the ball, A.J. Brown. But I would pick the Bills just because, I mean, my boy Josh Allen is killing it. And Stephon Diggs and John Brown and I love Singletary Moss. I love the Bills, even though, you know, I'm a Patriots fan. I love the Bills squad, you know. I love Josh Allen. I just, I like his spirit out there, you know, running around fucking throwing the ball like crazy big arm i like josh allen so um i would pick the bills if i had a chance i would say you know that stefan and they'd all go off allen and Tannehill would go head to head but josh allen would win that battle and uh yeah they just have a huge offensive day but the bills would score more and their defense is getting better each week they started to show up last week so I would pick the Bills in that match, uh, regardless. Bills would beat Tennessee Titans. Um, next game, the Colts at the Browns. Um, the Colts are favored by one and a half. Basically a pick em game. I hate when they do that. but uh, And the over-under is 47. Um, and that one, I'll just say, go with the over, like always. I'm just going to stick to that again. Just always go over. Don't be scared go with the over life's too short to bet the under um <clears throat> but yeah so colts favored by one and a half i got i got a big win on the browns here the browns are feeling good right now um after that that destruction of the cowboys and i know it's just the cowboys and their defense and i know the cowboys defense couldn't stop you know me and whoever three people i choose from scoring on them but uh, the Browns are feeling good right now. Odell is back. I don't think he really ever... Well, maybe he did go away for a while. He, he went somewhere after that night with that girl in that hotel room when he was sniffing those mysterious white lions. Uh, he has seemed to go away, but he's back. Baker Mayfield's kind of living up to his potential. I like Baker. I always did. I like that that fiery attitude. I think he can play quarterback. He's only going to get better. You know, he's th starting to throw the ball like he used to in college. And, uh, yeah, I love Kareem Hunt, even though Nick Chubb's out. Uh, the, the guy who replaced him did all right. Kareem Hunt is an all-star running back. He could he can work the whole load. Do you remember him on the Chiefs? Yeah, he's an all-star, so they have a backup running back. And they're going to be fine, even if Nick Chubb's out. Kareem Hunt is an all-star, literally. He'll make the Pro Bowl if Nick Chubb's out the whole season. Kareem Hunt will still make the Pro Bowl. So they got, you know, Jarvis Landry. I mean, everyone. What do they got? Uh, Hooper on there. I finally got involved last week at tight end. Austin Hooper. The Browns are feeling good. They're going to win easily against the Colts, I think, here. The Colts are a little, yeah, they're playing all right with Phillip Rivers. They're just a decent, all right team. Uh, Jonathan Taylor will score some points and things. Um, I don't really have any sleepers on the Colts, really. Like, I was going to say T.Y. Hilton would break out last week. He really didn't. I think maybe it's time to give up on T.Y. I hate to say that because he's he did well for me in fantasy last year, even. And he's been a fantasy ride or die. For some reason, I've had him a lot of years. And T.Y.'s done great things for me. But I think it is time to kind of give up on T.Y., uh, Phillip Rivers just doesn't look for him enough. Um, for the Colts, I'd stick, if you're not on the Mo Alley Cox show, the Colts tight end. I know it's a crazy name, but Mo Alley Cox, maybe he's not a member of the East-West Key and Peele Pro Bowl team. Uh, he uh, is a real player, and he scored again last week. He's now leapfrog Jack Doyle in that tight end. And Phillip Rivers really looks for the tight end, so that'd be my sleeper on the Colts. Again, Mo Alley Cox. Uh, just search M-O and then Alley, A-L-L-I-E. And then you know how to spell Cox, right? No, C-O-X. But uh, yeah, um, Mo Alley Cox for the, the Colts, the tight ends. That's uh, probably a, a pretty good value pick. People are starting to catch on to him, so I don't know how cheap he exactly is in daily. 
but he's probably still on the cheap end, so grab him at your tight end spot if you want to save some money. Mo Alley Cox for the Colts will have a good day. Um, for the Browns, you know, Kareem Hunt, if Chubb's out, so look for Kareem Hunt to be, I know they replaced him with that, um, what's his name, Deontay something, Deontay Johnson or someone, so like a rookie guy or something. But Kareem Hunt's gonna run the show, so expect a huge day from Kareem Hunt. I would put him in your daily fantasy if you could. Kareem Hunt's gonna catch a ton of passes in a PPR league. Kareem Hunt is gonna tear it up on Sunday. So get Kareem Hunt in your lineups. You know, Odell again will have a big game. Obviously not as big as last week. But I expect, I expect the Browns offense to really start picking up now. I think this will be the year, this is what we thought they'd be last year or two years ago. The Browns are, are going to be good this year. I could see it happening now. It's coming. They're coming together. They're playing as a team unselfishly. You know, they just don't seem to be, you know, all diva out like they're some super team and they already won the Super Bowl. They seem like they're actually playing hard and their offense is clicking. And So I, I would, yeah, gladly play Odell again, though. You know, don't, don't expect 38 points, but I'd gladly play him. Uh, I think Hooper will stay involved. He could, he could be a value pick at tight end. Jarvis Landry hasn't been doing much, but he might be all right pick. You know, I just expect the Browns to really win this game easily and heftily over the Colts. This is like my slam dunk of the week. Definitely pick the Browns here with the Colts favored one and a half. There, the Colts are gonna lose that one. This one's a guarantee, count it. They don't even have to play the game now that I picked it. Uh, Browns are gonna easily win. Pick the Browns to beat the Colts. They will easily cover that one and a half point spread. That's like stupid. They even do that. Just make it a pick them, choose game, whatever. Um, yeah, Browns here win easily. Kareem Hunt, big game. Uh, Baker, big game again. Odell, all that. And uh, Moali Cox for the Colts. That's about all I got. Colts aren't. And obviously JTT, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. <laughs> Yeah, but the Colts, you know, they're a little overrated, overhyped. Browns win big here. Pick the bro.